This build is gonna defy gravity. I gathered up all my supplies and started to make the game table. First thing I did was frame up the base for the bottom. Then I added some aluminum foil tape to make a reflective surface. Then it was time to add a whole ton of LEDs. Easy little 45s on the corners here and I filled the box right up. This is really cool because I can control it with an app on my phone. Then I took my Lexan and hit it with some Army Painter matte varnish and made a frosted look. Then it was time to build up what I like to call the elevator shaft. Now that frosted glass just slips right over the top to mat down those LED lights. Acts as a nice diffuser. I also added the LED lights inside the elevator shaft. And this is how you are going to get up to the second platform. So I went ahead and made the second platform in the exact same way as the bottom. It took a lot of work, but I've got completed what is essentially the table for the cyberpunk city. The plan is to put buildings on the bottom level, put buildings on the top level, and then suspend buildings upside down underneath Total Recall style. This is going to act like an elevator shaft. And the reason that I went ahead and added all these LEDs is because through the streets and the pavement and the cement, I want it to like glow up. and. Of course, the best way to do a futuristic style cityscape is a hex pattern. So that's what I'm going to do. I went ahead and I used my laser to cut a hex pattern and a bunch of craft foam here to make all these street cities and curbs and stuff like that and have this like faint glow of LED light coming up through the pavement. So this was a little tricky to get right and I had to fool around with it a little bit to get the laser settings on just enough so that it would burn nearly completely through the foam to allow the light to go through but still kind of hold it together and that's because it's going to make it a lot easier to glue down in place than if I had a bunch of individual pieces. You can see here the first one I did just didn't burn through enough and the light is not coming through it quite the same as this one, which I kind of really figured it out. So, so this is what I went with here and I laser cut it the black and I laser cut it the gray. And I also did some white, which I didn't bother to cut all the way through because I'm going to apply these to the underside where the city is going to hang down. And that's because I ran out of gray. Also, I'm going to take some caulking and deco art paint mixed together and apply it to all these wooden sections here uh, to give some texture, maybe do some dry brushing to kind of make this look like cement so that it takes away from that wood look and kind of blends into the city streets. I just used some watered down glue and it was a little tedious. And yep, I made a mistake, but it was an easy fix. Use these little pieces for curbs. Then it was time to add the texture to the wooden pieces. First I just brushed it on. And then I went ahead and spackled it, 
just to give it some texture with the brush. Followed by a quick dry brush of grey. And then I went ahead and dry brushed all the edges of the road as well. If you guys are enjoying this video, go ahead and smash that like button and appease the algorithm gods. Okay, here's something really cool. Gallery, a new airbrush company, sent me over a couple of their brushes to test out. And I really like these things because they meet all the specs for a miniature and terrain painting. I'm going to link them below in the description. Make sure to check them out and I cannot wait to use them. I laser cut a little template for a sidewalk. And I started to paint all the road markings. And I gotta say, these airbrushes really lived up to the hype. The quality was excellent. The paint far through them very nicely. Really easy to clean. Excellent brushes. They're gonna be my go-to from here on out, I can tell. The next thing I did is add some LED street poles. Fed them through the plexiglass. Then I flipped it over and wired it all to a switch. You can't build a cyberpunk city without some amazing buildings and the buildings that I got are absolutely sick. They're from a brand new Kickstarter from Cyber Districts. Cyber Districts has been building an entire cyberpunk city district by district, and this Kickstarter represents the Emerald District. This thing is fully modular. You can see here on their Kickstarter page, they built up an absolutely awesome city. You gotta go check it out just for that alone, guys. It's amazing. This thing has hundreds of files, signs, AC units, stairs, ladders, buildings, you name it, all kinds of stuff. It's got a ton of stretch goals. It's already knocking some down over on the Kickstarter page. We'll take a look at that in a second. Overall, this is an amazing Kickstarter. These files are really easy to print and it's uh, gonna match up with some of their other previous Kickstarters too. So it's really cool what they're doing over there. You guys really gotta go check them out. Now the Kickstarter is going strong. It's already starting to knock down some stretch goals as you can see here, but there's still more to come. They also got some really nice pictures of this city that they built. Really cool colors. <laughs> Mine is gonna be a little cleaner than that, but still is super cool. Now they've got all kinds of different pledge levels, so you can go over there and I'm sure you can find a pledge that uh, matches what you're looking for. Now. There's a few things with these files I think we should talk about. One is adding a few support blockers. You can see like in the vents and a few areas and underneath here in the connection points, it's just easier if there's no supports. So I went ahead and blocked up those supports before I printed my files. Here's my settings guys, if you wanna check it out. Pretty simple settings here, standard stuff. I loaded up some Duramic 3D filament and got the printing. Now, because I've got a frozen, muddy 4K with a massive build plate, I was able to do some resin printing. I loaded some files in Chi2 Box Pro, tilt them on an angle, then I hollowed them and dug some holes. So guys, if you wanna print these files in resin and you got a big printer, you can go ahead and do that. If not, I'll link the froze on below. You can check that out. I love that printer, it's definitely my go-to printer. 
You can see here, these things are gonna print up in about six hours. So we'll be using the Aqua Gray 4K resin. It matches up real nice with this printer. You can see here the settings on this thing. So in a nutshell, I was able to run up three prints to every one of my FDM printer. Nice thing about this, no layer lines and crisp smooth prints. They came out the build plate pretty easy and a quick wash and cure. And I had an entire building built up in resin prints. Over the course of like four weeks, I've been 3D printing this entire futuristic cyberpunk modular terrain and building system. And I've got a ton of prints here. Now this system is really cool because you can put it together whatever way you want and build up some amazing structures. Now, I'm actually still 3D printing right now. Four printers going flat out. But I think I've got enough to start building some skyscrapers for my cyberpunk city build. So, let's get at it. I went for a real simple paint job, used a couple of spray cans to lay down some base coats. Then I busted out the gallery airbrushes again and highlighted up all the panels on these prints. Just to give that like futuristic sort of look. Worked really great for these files. Then I went in and just quickly picked out all the extra details. And there are a ton of details on these files. What I really like about these buildings is that they're completely modular and you can set them up in all sorts of different configurations. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna test build some of these pieces and see if we can come up with some cool building designs. These things slide in and build up really cool. You can do like a ton of different configurations. It's almost endless the amount of configurations you can do. And with the walkway systems and all the accessories, you can really make this whole thing blend together into one huge complex. So, as if these buildings weren't cool enough, I'm going to go ahead and add a whole bunch of LEDs to them. I got some LED lights and some LED filament, which is why I made the windows transparent, because I'm hoping that the LEDs is just going to light this whole thing right up. And then, after that, we're gonna go ahead and make some billboards and put a whole bunch of signs on these things and light those up too because you can't have a cyberpunk city without a whole bunch of neon lights. I soldered the connections of the LED filaments to a battery holder for some AA batteries. And you can see these things are super bright. I drilled some holes and ran them through the buildings. And when I pulled the wires through, I went ahead and added the battery box to the upper building. Now, for my own little design touch, I did make my own files here for these billboard holders. These files and only these files are available on my Patreon. Everything else is from Cyber District. But if you're interested in my Patreon, I'll link it below. And also, everybody who's a member over there, thank you so much. You guys rock. You really helped me push this channel to new heights. You can join the facility by hitting the subscribe button. We're always making cool stuff here, whether it's sci-fi or fantasy dioramas, 3D printing or painting. I do my best to reach out to you guys and respond to every single comment. So go ahead, smash that subscribe button and come along for the ride. I cut the back end of the building for the sky lift so it would fit in the elevator shaft. And on top, I just placed a normal building. Then it was time to glue the buildings upside down and really defy gravity. Now, I made sure to put a lot of glue on these things because I didn't want them to fall. 
now the city was really starting to come to life. But I had to go ahead and connect everything with these walkways. Now what is a cyberpunk city? If you don't show it off in the nighttime. So all that hard work turned into an awesome glowing cyberpunk city of the future. I really loved how the road and the concrete came out, the billboards, the neon lights, and of course the amazing buildings by Cyber Districts. These things are absolutely sweet. The way this thing just glows in the nighttime is really special. This has to be one of my favorite builds that I've done in a long time. And I've done some pretty cool builds on my channel, but hey, this one might just take the cake. But the question I need you guys to answer for me, what games should I play on this table? I'm thinking Infinity, but I don't really know what else. Do you guys know any cool cyberpunk systems that would be awesome on this table? If you like this build, I got some pretty cool ones linked right here. Go ahead, check them out, and hang out in the facility with me for a little bit longer.